Aloha, welcome back. Video number 31. Today we're going to dive deeper and focus on the ankle. Our ankle joint has a lot of tendons and ligaments and we need to open up this area right onto this joint in the front, in the side. If not, they get very jammed and that's how we tend to have a hard time rotating those ankles. So this exercise we'll be doing it's, it's a lot more intense and more advanced so if this is too challenging for you go back to video number 29 to do the basic one first and get that going before you move on to this one so the first thing we do as always is hydrating those tissue putting your foot on the floor on the chair will be helpful and keeping the shoulder back lifting the spine use the bicep Use your core, go up and down those calves, around the ankle and the back, and then the front of the shin, and then around the front of the ankle, and feel the warmth of the tissue from the friction of the towel. That gives it a little blood flow. Then from there, we're gonna stand behind the chair. That leg you just hydrate, you're gonna swing that leg back. Let me move that camera so you can see. And if you have a hard time seeing my foot, where it should be, use your finger on your phone to zoom in or your computer. Hit that zoom button to magnify and target my left foot because you want your foot to be flipping back behind you, lightly on that back foot. You're loading it more on the front, lifting the spine, and trying to really pull yourself up as you rest your foot lightly onto the floor, feeling the stretch and the openness through your front ankle joint. From there, you gently drop the heel out laterally, putting a little bit more weight now on the baby toes, the last three toes, feeling the outer ankle. Come back to center on all five toes, feeling the front of the ankle again, and then drop the heel in, placing a little bit more pressure on the big toe and the second toe, and feeling the inner ankle. So my hip doesn't change, it's just those he my heel dropping out to the side and dropping more to the midline. I'm going to show you at a different view. Again, zoom in with the camera. I'll play this video a couple times to get the, the understanding of this complicated movement. You're going to swing the leg back. Nice and tall. Light on the back foot. Feeling the front ankle. Drop the ankle out to the side, feeling the side of the ankle. Come back, feel the front, drop it in to feel the inner part of the ankle. And come back to center. Now this might be really challenging as I mentioned, uh, and it might be um, quite tender on the toes. So putting your foot on a towel or a, or a soft surface would really help uh, take away that distraction. Uh, sometimes the floor is too hard and it feels really painful for the foot. Next, we're gonna go deeper into those ankles because if we ever trip and turn, twist our ankle, we wanna make sure that the ankle can handle that range of motion so we don't sprain it or tear it. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna bring that left foot forward again, bring it across the body, and then drop that ankle bone to the floor. This is level one. If you need to use a chair to hold on for balance or a wall, that's totally fine. Okay. Level two would be directly in front, parallel to the other leg, but more in the front, and drop it out. That's level three. Level two. Level three would be much more advanced. It's directly standing, hip width apart, toes are pointing straight, and you're just dropping the ankle out. This is a lot more advanced. and back to center. So this is a very common 
thing that we, we most people will end up doing if they miss a step or if they um, just walking and the ankle flip, um, twist out to the side. Uh, most people end up injuring their ankles and that could take you out a couple weeks or months of limping and being on crutches and you want to avoid that. So I hope this is helpful. Make sure you do the other side. And always share with your families and friends if you find this to be helpful. If you have any questions, lisi at journeytofitness.com.